Hello everyone. Each week through our prayer line, our weekly free phone message, our Facebook page, and our website, we receive many prayer requests for people's little loved ones. I'm talking about our pets. Dogs, cats, and other pets become close to us, and we become close to them, seeing them not as only friends, but even part of our family. God cares for our pets, and all animals too. God made everything that lives on the earth, including the animals. In the beginning, the Bible says in Genesis 1.24, that God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and wild animals. And it was so. And the Bible commands us to take care of the animals under our care. It's one of the signs of a righteous man or woman. The Bible says that a righteous man or woman takes care of his animals. Proverbs 12, verse 10, a righteous man cares for the needs of his animal. Those who have pets should love them, provide for them, and care for their needs. Loving an animal is good. It is not wrong, as long as we love people more and love God most of all. The care we show an animal entrusted to us is a gauge of personal integrity and can teach us a lot. If God cares for the animals, so should we. It's God's care for animals that explains our desire to have pets. God created mankind in his image, after all, as we see in Genesis 1.27, and we have inherited that part of God's nature that cares for the animals. At the very beginning, God blessed the people he had made and commanded them, fill the earth and subdue it, rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, and over every living creature that moves on the ground. When a child has a pet, for example, he or she is reflecting the nature of God to a certain extent. The child feeds and cares for the pet, and whatever kind of pet it is, is dependent fully on that child to meet their needs, much like all creation is dependent on God. Keeping a pet, then, is a weighty responsibility. It's modeling the Creator and exercising dominion over a certain portion of creation. Psalm 147 verse 9 tells us that God is concerned for all his creation, including the animals he created when it says he provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. And in Luke 12 verse 6, Jesus himself says, Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. So if God cares for animals, so should we. Our little loved ones provide companionship, amusement, lasting memories, and unconditional love to us. It's why pets are taken to hospitals and nursing homes to interact with people in need. Some pets even show sacrificial love by giving their lives to protect us. With all these wonderful things in mind about our pets, let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for everything you've created. Thank you for our pets. Thank you for the pets that we have now. And thank you for the blessing of pets that, that we had, but no longer have. Please help us watch over our furry loved ones. It's so good to know that you care for them too. Please help us to take good care of them. Help us to meet their needs. Let their love for us be a reminder of the unmatched love and sacrifice you showed on the cross for those who believe and put their trust in you. And also, Lord, for those listening to this message who are facing a difficult week, I humbly ask that you be their shelter and their refuge, that you bring your comfort and help to them. You reveal your truth and deliver them from all their fears. I humbly ask this and thank you in the name above all names, Jesus Christ. Amen. God's grace be with you. Take care.